Hi everyone. So today I am going to review for you the Smart Travel. Um, it is a two pack, and they are called Airport Security Toiletry Bag, 100% guaranteed, TSA approved. Um, I'm guessing that says liquids, and then there's some words that got double printed, and then it says two pockets. It has a really long name on Amazon. I will link it below if you're interested in buying this particular these particular bags. So they are made by. Oh, I've got these both um, filled, so now I can't turn them over without spilling them. Oh, that's good. So they're made by a company called Smart Travel, and if you look at the bottom of the bag or back of the bag, however you want to refer to this as, it does have their logo in the corner and then some really cheesy graphics to let you know that it's carry-on approved for flying on, I, I mean, I guess that's an airplane. I don't, I mean, it looks like an airplane, but then what's that stick down the middle? What's that bit down the middle? I don't know. And then in case you forgot what um, toiletries look like, there's a picture of toiletries. Um, the... <laughs> So I'm going to start first with the pros of the bag rather because I first did this video and then it was like all over the place. So I'm going to try and do the pros first and then the cons last. So pro, it opens like a clamshell, which I've partially zipped that one, which means that you have very easily, um, you have easy access to all of your stuff and you're not like digging through the top of a bag. That's brilliant. Um, I really like that. The second thing that I really like is that it has a um, plastic little pocket on the lid, which as you can see, I've stuck some makeup brushes in it just for the sake of showing the pocket because when I packed my bag, this is my bag, this is a whole bunch of my extra stuff that I just had lying around that I threw in the bag just to fill it. But when I was packing this one, I couldn't find the pocket. So, you know, so if you were traveling with makeup, you could use this little pocket to keep your makeup brushes clean um, and away from all the junk, or you could use it to store face masks or paracetamol, you know, travel sick medicine, whatever you needed to have like handy or kept separate from your liquids. I kind of like the idea that you would keep that you could keep your makeup brushes safe from the liquids, but still have your makeup brushes in the same toiletry bag. But of course, if you're trying to maximize your liquid space, then you would probably not have those in there. Um, and you probably have like some packs of, I mean, I would probably, to be honest, I would probably stick my Gaviscon in there. I'd be like, look, my Gaviscon's in there. Cause yeah, cause I need Gaviscon a lot. Um, so, so that is one pro, that is a second pro of the bag. And those are pretty much the only pros. So on to the con. So the first con that I noticed about this writing is that it's on the inside of the bag. I don't really know if that's a con so much as I think that that will eventually rub off and potentially rub off onto your toiletries, which then might transfer some of the black ink to you or your clothing, depending on how it is. So that I'm not sort of not a fan of. Of course, I could that could be pure speculation, and it could be like a really well printed um, image on the inside. You never know. The second thing that I did not like, do not like, or that is a con, I suppose, is here's my old bag. And when I sit my old bag on top and I line up the piping there, I don't think you care about that. That's my packing list. There is about an inch of extra space in this bag that this bag does not have because it is the same height. It's the same depth but the width is about an inch shorter. And this bag, I know this bag has been through, well, I mean, it's been through security with me. It's been through security in Leipzig, Dresden, Prague, um, Munich, um, thinking, 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 obviously Stansted and Heathrow, uh, Philly, Orlando, it's been through the Eurostar security, although the Eurostar doesn't restrict liquids, so that didn't matter. It's been through security getting on an overnight ferry. Again, they don't restrict your liquids, so that didn't matter. But it's been through a lot of security screening, and I'm replacing it because it has, hang on the other side, it has these little um, slits in it, which I think may have come from my razor. Uh, but basically, when you have holes in your liquid bag, it's time to replace it because you don't want your liquids leaking if they leaked in your liquid bag and the bag wasn't you know had a hole in it then it would leak in your bag 
Um, I could probably repair it with tape, but then I wasn't really sure if the tape would be watertight. Um, so it's not taped. It, so, so I've got new bags. And these were fairly cheap. I believe they're like $7.99, $8.99 for two of them. And Tim needed a new one as well because his has a crack in it. Also, and his has a really... His has a crack that would be harder to fix with tape because it's his is on the side, like, um, on underneath where the zipper is, like, that bit cracked. So it would be difficult to fix. So I just figured, you know what, these were either eight or nine pounds for the two of them. Um, it was cheaper than buying us each singles like that one from super drug because i think those were like five pounds each something like that so i bought these so we'll see how they go how they go um is what i'm gonna say without that extra inch of space um if we were going on a longer trip um because usually when we go away we only go away for like a long weekend or maybe a week so having that extra inch doesn't really matter but if we were going on like a two-week trip and you were really trying to cram a whole lot of your liquids in like if we were taking sunscreen an extra, you know, extra sunscreen. And if I wasn't using bar shampoo and conditioner and I was traveling with shampoo and conditioners, and if I was taking like other hair accessory, um, not accessories, other hair products and things like that, then I might want that extra inch. Um, also, if I was going away for a convention, I would probably want that extra inch because I also might be taking extra makeup with me. But when we just go away for a quick weekend, I'm not usually taking that much makeup. Like the amount of makeup that I'm taking on our next trip is probably like this palette that has two eyeshadows and a blush. I mean, I don't wear a lot of makeup when we travel. And also because a lot of the time if we're going to Germany, then we're just like running around riding trains, riding trams, riding boats. And just, I don't need to, you know, I just feel like I don't need the makeup. Um, whereas if I was like going down to London and I was spending the weekend in London, I probably would wear makeup. So you know what I mean? It, it varies. But anyway, so that would be something to consider is that this is not maximizing your absolute um, amount of liquid space. Um, the other negative that I kind of thought of is it takes up extra counter space because you can't stand it up. I mean, you could zip it shut and then stand it up, but to open it, you would definitely need the counter space. So if you were somewhere where counter space was going to be limited, which you don't really know of right away, I suppose, which is kind of a bad thing. But if you look at the pictures, you can usually tell. But like if you were staying in, say, like a hostel that might not have counter space in the bathroom or if you were going to be on a cruise ship, which doesn't have a lot of space in the bathroom, things like that, then this might not be a good option because you would have to constantly zip it back shut to stand it up and then find a place to, to balance it. And you'd wind up like putting it on the back of the toilet and have everything fall in the toilet, you know. Um, I did test it with a 100 mil bottle. Uh, that is what this is over here. This one is 100 mil. And it fits, as you can see, but it slightly pushes out that top part. But it does still zip shut, so I can't imagine anyone complaining about that. So it does fit. It doesn't fit in the corner. Um, and actually, that's one thing that I noticed when I was trying to fill the second bag. Is it's actually kind of hard to, like, get something to fill up that corner. Um, I put, like, I put my conditioner bottle in the corner. Don't even ask why it's pink and white, basically, because I just keep pouring conditioner in it. Um, and... You know, it's, diff it's difficult to get it into that corner. And so I do feel like you might lose a little bit of space. And especially because then, like, if you're looking at this space on top and, like, say this, like, there's all that, there's an extra space right there. And there's nothing really small enough to go in that spot, but you have that space. Whereas when I was filling up this bag, um, the way that I would do it is I would always put things in and I would start at the zipper pull end and put things in the bag. And then I would turn the bag this way shuffle it down, zip the bag up a little, like zip the bag up to the top here, go like this to shuffle everything down to the bottom. And then I would continue to fill it and I would make sure I filled every single corner of the bag to again, maximize my space. I don't think you could really do that with this one. Um, I mean, I guess you kind of could if you like zipped it up on three sides and then turned it this way to shake it down. Um, but again, it's not quite as easy to do as it is in the other one. So, um, so yeah, so those are a couple of things that you should probably consider if you are in the market for a new travel toiletry bag. Um, on the other hand, I am going to try and use these. I'm going to see what happens. Um, we're going to take them away on a trip probably in March. 
um, and see how we like them. And if we don't like them, then we'll just have to go to Superdrug and buy the bags that we previously had. Also, though, do beware of Amazon ads because this was the first lot that I bought and it was four of them. And they're like even smaller. Um, so again, if you're trying to maximize your amount of liquids, de definitely read the fine print, read the dimensions. Um, anyway, so <laughs> hope that helped. I will link these in the description box below if you're interested in them. And uh, yeah, have a good trip.